Hello everyone and welcome Dawn here. I'm so glad you could join me. Today I'm making an adorable Easter card for you. I'm using one of my favorite Whimsy Stamps products. It's the Sending Sunshine Stamp Set. You can see it's been used a lot. I just love this stamp set because it can be used for so many different occasions. It comes with two bunnies and I love the fact it comes with extra flowers. The sentiments are sending hugs, hello there, and sunshine. I'm pairing it up with the Whimsy Stamps Pierced and Stitched Circles, the Quilted Rainbow Inlaid Die, which will make a great background. And then I'm using the Grass and Edger Die that is great to make a sky. I already have one die cut out and I just keep it in here. I use it a few times and then I'll die cut a new one. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use the quilted rainbow die to make my background. I'm going to center the die the best I can in the center of a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of white cardstock. I'm going to tape it in place so it doesn't move around and run it through my die cut machine like I normally do. This die doesn't uh, die cut it just makes an impression onto the cardstock as you can see it came out really nice and it gives you just enough of an impression so I don't have to use like a plain piece of white cardstock as my background next I'm going to tape together two of these circles so I can make a window for my bunny to peek out of I'm using the three and three quarter inch circle and the three and a half inch circle I just tape them together and die cut three of them from some white cardstock. I'm using one of the inner circles for the die cuts I just made, and I'm going to ink blend my clouds onto it with the Cloud Edger die. I have one, like I said, already cut out, but if you don't, you can just die cut one out of some cardstock. I use 110 pound cardstock so that I can use it quite a few times before I need to die cut another one. I'm using my Distress Oxide ink. This one is called Tumbled Glass. It's my favorite color to use when making a sky background. I'm just basically moving the stencil down a little at a time and then just blending the blue over it. Now you can use as much or as little ink as you want. It depends how dark you want your sky. It also gets a little lighter once it dries. I'm not ink blending all the way to the bottom because you won't see it anyways because the bunny is going to be covering it. Now I'm going to stamp my bunny images and the flowers. I'm using the peeking bunny today. I thought the bunny would look cute peeking from the window. I stamp my images with a Copic friendly ink. I use the coordinating dies to cut them out and then I'm going to quickly color them with my Copic markers. Now I'm not doing like anything special with my coloring so I'm just going to basically tell you what colors that I used and where I used them. I used C3 Cool Gray for around the edge of the bunny and then I colored him in with the C1 to blend the C3 and C1 together. And then I used R11 Pale Cherry for the bunny's ears and his little nose. And for the flowers, I colored the whole flower in with BG02, and then I put some BG05 in the middle of the flowers, and then I just blended it all together with the BG02 again. I colored the yellow flowers with Y11, and then I added some Y08 in the middle of the flower, and then I blended it all together with the Y11 again. I stacked my three circles on top of each other to give the window dimension. And then I put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the bunny and I adhered him to the back of the circle with the colored side facing forward. And then I'm just going to hold him in place for a few seconds and then trim off of any of the excess that's sticking outside the circles with my scissors. Then I'll adhere the entire circle onto that embossed background that I made. And I'll put a little bit of glue behind the bunny and on the top of the circle. 
and then I'll just slide the ink blended circle behind the bunny and it fits in there really nicely. It's easier to do it like this than it is to adhere the circle to the back of the bunny. I'll just press it in place and then I'm going to put foam tape on the back of the flowers and adhere them onto the circle. For the sentiment, I'm using the Hoppy Spring stamp set and it is on sale right now for $5.99 if you're interested in it. And I'm going to heat emboss it. So the first thing I do is rub my paper with my embossing powder. When I use white embossing powder, I like to use a white pigment ink. I feel like it helps the embossing powder from cracking and seeing the black underneath, you know, the black paper underneath because it's a white ink. And then I pour embossing powder on it. And then when my heat tool is good and hot, I'm just going to heat emboss that sentiment and make sure to move around and not stay in one place for too long. Then I had these enamel dots in my stash, so I decided to use them for the middle of the flowers. All I did was put the yellow enamel dots in the middle of the blue flowers, and then I put the blue enamel dots in the middle of the yellow flowers. I thought this made a nice contrast on the flowers. Then I cut the sentiment in half and I put foam tape on the back of it and adhered them to the front of the card. And to finish off the card, I adhered the card front to an A2 sized white card base. And that's going to complete my card for today. I think this card came out super cute and would make a fun Easter card. I hope you enjoyed my card today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the card. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great inspirational videos. Also, check out their website for all their new releases. And as always, I want to thank you for spending your time with me and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.